boy, coming up next, this highly anticipated matchup for the UFC middleweight division title. So here he is, the number one middleweight contender getting set for this 185 pound title fight. He believes this title shot should have come a long time ago, but he has let bygones be bygones. The focus now, unseating the champion in dominant fashion and starting a new middleweight legacy of his own, 25 minutes or fewer away from becoming the new champion. We will see how he performs tonight. As he makes his way towards the cage, his preparation has been perfect. He is in fantastic shape, had an amazing camp, and he believes that he is in the perfect position to become the new champion of the world. As he steps into the octagon right now, he steps in with a champion's mindset. So, Joe, we have arrived at our final order of business, the UFC middleweight championship fight as the champ makes his walk to the octagon, brimming with confidence. And why not, given the way his last title defense went, we'll see if he can come through with another one here tonight against a challenger and number one contender many believe right now could be the best guy in the world. The champion headed to the cage right now is in the groove. He is in his prime right now. His training for this bout has been perfect. He believes he has a solid game plan and he's ready to step in here and retain his title. He is well prepared for this contest. And now our tale of the tape for this middleweight championship fight. So a more than five year gap between these two fighters when it comes to the age with similar height and reach. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, a referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Lovey. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the O2 Arena in London, England. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC middleweight championship of the world. Introducing first. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of 65 wins, 37 losses, and one no contest. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, presenting the challenger, Ronaldo Jacare Souza! And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 57 wins, three losses. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of London, England, ladies and gentlemen, the reigning, defending UFC middleweight champion, the Assassin. UFC belt on the line, guys. Protect yourself at all time. Obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now. Go back. This to has the been room. one of the most highly anticipated matchups for a long time. And ladies and gentlemen, strap yourselves in because it's about to go down right now. All right, here we go. The wait is over. The UFC's 185-pound title is up for grabs right here, right now. All right, so here he looking for a triangle. Throws one leg over the shoulder, and he's out of the triangle. Working on another submission attempt here. Oh, he freed it up. Adjust nicely, but in half guard now. Oh, reversal. Nicely executed sweep winds up in guard. Working on another choke here. What he needs to do here 
He's in half guard. He wants to get the arm triangle. The first thing he's got to do is secure the arm, lock the head and arm position. Then he's got to get out of the half guard, move into side control, clamp down, on and stand will do it. Great job, didn't waste any time, took this fight to the ground and got the early submission. Yeah, so a quick night at the office for him here tonight. He told us he wanted to be efficient. He didn't want to waste a lot of time. He felt his opponent knew the takedown attempts would be coming, and he got the fight to the ground relatively easily, and his submission skills then took over. Big, big result for him early in round one tonight. Let's see it one more time. Got the arm in deep under the neck, locked in tight, and it's over before they even get a chance to tap. Let's take a look at it from a different angle. All right, so there's the man they're all chasing at 185 pounds, the undisputed UFC middleweight champion of the world, and the celebration is on after the big submission win here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest at 1 minute, 31 seconds of the very first round, declaring the winner by submission due to an arm triangle choke, and still the undisputed UFC champion of the world, the Assassin. So there he is, still the undisputed UFC middleweight champion after a win by way of submission here tonight. And despite the fact that the number one contender came in and was all the rage, he got the job done relatively easily here tonight, submitting his foe inside the distance in defense of his middleweight title. Only one thing left to do tonight, that is to party. The celebration is on in the red corner with the undisputed UFC middleweight champ.